Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and set up AI Life Complete. AI Life Complete is available on the sourceforge.net and here is the link. I'll provide this link in the YouTube uh, description under the video. So let's go to the sourceforge. So open up a browser and go to the provided link for the sourceforge. Once the page open, the initial page is going to be this one here for AI Life Complete. And uh, as a summary, AI Life Complete is a standalone offline version of App Inventor, which means it requires no network connection, internet connection after it has been downloaded. And you can run the, the, um, the App Inventor server and the build server completely off the internet, off of internet. Okay, so an important note here is the wiki page. Um, or by clicking this wiki here or by going to this uh, uh, link provided right here there is a FAQ setup instruction and a summary of it under the FAQ I try to maintain this uh, wiki, uh, wiki page here and add important information so keep watching for this page right here to download the file you click on the files and there is a version of AI Life Complete here. The other two files are not really needed. So AI Life Complete V134 is the current version. So just click on it and download. I'm not going to download it right now because I already have it, have it set up for me. So let's say that you have it downloaded. All right. So once you download it, download the zip file and unpack it, this is the list of the files that you are going to get. The ones that are the files are prefixed with the Win are for Windows and the other two, Start AI Server and Start Build Server are for the Mac and the Linux version. Couple of important files are Win Start AI Server. This is the one that starts the uh, App Inventor uh, server itself and the other one is the build server starts up the build server when you want to download or package your uh, your app before running this you need to make sure that you have the uh, the java jdk installed and you have to make sure that the java home is set up properly to set up the java home you have to go to the uh, environment variable and set up your uh, java home again that's in the wiki page under the source forge There is a link provided there. I'm going to show you quickly how to set it up. Uh, from the Windows, you click on the Start, right mouse button on the computer, go to the Properties, click on the Advanced System Settings, and under the Advanced, there is an Environment variable here. You click that, and this is where you have to specify your Java Home. Mine is set up already, but I'm just going to show you how, to, how you can create a new one. Uh, it's a key value pair. You click on the new, type in Java Home, and for the variable name, you basically have to point it to your JDK Home folder, like this one right there. Once you enter that, it will be added, and you just OK back out of the windows. All right, by now you should be set up. So I'm going to start up the AI serv server. So to start it, double click on this win start AI server. I must have a version, so this is good. I, I apparently have a runaway Java program uh, for this. I'm going to um, uh, kill that runaway process. So I'm going to go to the task manager, find the Java, and end, end the task. Okay, now I should be okay. Win start AI server. So it's, this is going to start the, my app inventor. So it says that it's already uh, set up and running. And to go to it, this is the link. Localhost 8888. This is the port that is specified in, the, uh, in that batch file that we just double clicked on. All right, so let's go there. Localhost. 8888 all right so you you'll notice that the AI server just came up <coughs> excuse me 
Um, if you look at the email right now, it says test at example.com. You can change that by signing out and refreshing the page. And now you can put in your own uh, email address and log in. And that's it for AI server. So let's just drop in a couple of uh, buttons here, clock. And in this version, under the advanced, we have the SQL light. Um, so the file is already, you can save it by clicking on the save and to package it for the phone. This is the, for, for phone or for the um, download to your computer, click the down arrow key and you can download it. But before that, you have to make sure that your build server is up. To start up the build server, that's what this uh, win start build server is. So you double click on that to start up your build server. And it says the build server is running. I can close this. And now I can package for uh, download to the computer. If you are having, this should be done in a, uh, in a few seconds. If you experience problem actually um, packaging for your phone, this could be because of the memory. So the file just right now, it completed uh, downloading. If you have problem, you can uh, close up your build server. This is the build server right there. You control C. Make sure that you say yes, you want to exit so you don't have runaway Java process. And you can start up the file that says win start build server with, with heap. This one is allocating more memory for the, basically for the JVM uh, memory management. And uh, that's about it. I hope you find this useful and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel and uh, like the like the video. Thanks, bye.